Hello YouTube, my name is Joe. Uh, I'm a husband of one and a father of five. I work as a high school shop teacher uh, in the weekends and the summers. Do my very best at being a farmer, homesteader, uh, and general DIYer. Uh, today's goal of this video is to share my findings from a water test done on these pond waters. Uh, I'm gonna break this video into uh, a few different parts. The first one is a quick backstory of the pond. Uh, the second one is my the process of getting your water tested. Uh, the third part is going to be the findings of getting this water tested. Uh, and the final is going to be the short term and the long term plan, right? Uh, so real quick backstory, uh, about 11, 12 years ago, we had this low wet spot dug, uh, very big drought. We had it dug, they shaped the area. We did nothing with it. Uh, we did nothing with it for probably eight or nine years. Uh, fast forward, we did a little bit of brush hogging, a little bit of trimming, but nothing, nothing. Uh, a little fishing, nothing. Uh, fast forward to summer 2020, uh, we're locked down. I'm at home teaching on a computer. My kids are at home. They discovered the pond. Uh, they're building rafts, they're swimming, everything. Uh, the pond's a hot mess. Uh, cattails everywhere, muck everywhere, lily pads everywhere, covered in duckweed. Uh, we decided that the pond was going to become a priority once again of our family. Uh, and so I started spending time on it. Uh, pulling out vegetation I could with the tractor, going along, pulling cattails, got a weed razor, pulled the lily pads, realized I had duckweed, uh, was able to eliminate the duckweed. We added aeration, had algae, had different issues, continue, continue, continue. Tried to harvest the muck, tried to use tablets, tried to use liquid bacteria, tried to do this, tried to do that. And quite honestly, uh, we continued to fight algae all the time. Uh, I'd spend a lot, a lot of time throwing a landscape rake with a pool noodle and rope and pull it in. Uh, I would do all sorts of stuff. I would build little buckets to pull the muck out. Basically, myself, uh, Uncle Google, and Amazon wore the cocktail, and it was not good. Uh, so. Finally, I, I started wising up a little bit and started trying to research a little bit better. And honestly, I was looking for help. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit of my story. If you got some time and uh, I will tell you about what happened. So I came across Natural Waterscapes. Uh, went to their website and really quite honestly, I, I found their item on uh, Amazon and I noticed that they had some barley and their muck remover and I'd always heard barley this, barley that, didn't know about it, went to their website and their website is a wealth of information. Uh, they have this, this 101 section that just has all the information. They have all this weed ID, all the information and I spent hours reading it, uh, just hours. Uh, so uh, I decided that my best route and really the person that I am uh, or becoming I'm just going to ask, uh, what do you suggest? What is my best option? This is my pond story. What is my best option? Uh, and, and of course, you know, uh, like any good YouTuber, I'm always going to ask, hey, uh, is there any affiliate? Is there any of this, any of that? Uh, we did some conversation back and forth and they made some suggestions. And then they came along and invited me to, to join the affiliate team. So you will find some links later. Uh, and I do get a small commission from those links. Uh, but this story is so much more. Uh, and so through communication, uh, they suggested that I do a test of the water. Uh, so we did the test. Uh, we did the test. And, and so when the test pack came, uh, it came in a box, like most things do, right? Uh, and inside that box was a self-addressed label or a return label. Uh, there was a foil bubble type package, insulated package, 
two ice packs, uh, about a one quart, one liter bottle for the water, uh, and a couple plastic bags. I put the bottle in one of them, uh, and then I grabbed a, a weed that was out there and I put that in the other one. Uh, and then a little sheet of paper that basically said, how deep is the pond? Do you have aeration? What depth is that at? Uh, general size of it, the address of the pond. Uh, and then there was an email address at the bottom. Uh, Aaron's the guy's name, the, the lab technician. And the other picture, so I, took, I sent him a picture of this algae mess and said, hey, this is a big concern. So all those items came in that box. Uh, and then of course, you know, you read through it. Basically the suggestion was send this out on a Saturday. Uh, I had to send it out FedEx. So uh, I knew Saturday morning, I had to take that sample and then take that to a FedEx drop place. Uh, took the water sample, put it inside the bag, uh, grabbed a weed, put that inside. Already had the ice packs in the freezer for a few days, put those in, sealed off the foil container, packaged up, went to send it FedEx, right? Uh, waited, waited about a week and a half, uh, maybe a little bit shy of that. Got an email from Aaron. Aaron is that technician uh, with a GPS picture of the pond and said, is this the correct pond? Yes, yes it is. Uh, a couple days later, I got an email from a guy named Jesse uh, and I got the report, right? Uh, and so I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking about the report, really the detail that's inside this port. And uh, I'm going to be slipping in a PDF uh, so that you guys can read right along with me. So let's talk about the report. Uh, the first page of that report is basically terms. Uh, they were testing for pH, total hardness, nitrates, ammonia levels, and then phosphate levels. Uh, and, and so they're doing all this testing. I know that a lot of times, just some, from taking some general chemistry, sometimes these tests just take days and days and days for certain things to level out, for additives to be added to do the testing. And, uh, and so it was good for me to understand what these terms mean. Uh, the next page, they had some general characteristics from the GPS, from the numbers that I gave them. Uh, and so they're actually guessing my pond to be 0.39 acres. And I would say probably after the waters recede a little bit, it's, it's probably closer to that one third mark. Um, and so a quarter acre I've always said is probably a bit small, but they're estimating that it's, it's almost 900,000 gallons. This is good to know if you're gonna add anything to it. And probably what I was adding to it was never enough in the first place. Uh, and then it came back with the findings. Uh, and you guys can read those right along with me. Uh, but our pH was 8.19. Uh, hardness was 33, 337 milligrams per liter. I don't have a clue what that means, just so you know. Uh, but we did see that uh, our ammonia and our phosphate levels were highly elevated. Uh, come to find out that that phosphate is a huge contributor to this algae situation that I have. Uh, and so, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. So right there, uh, I was using some test strips last summer and that told me about alkalinity and pH, nothing about ammonia or phosphate. Uh, and so, oh, uh, this is good information, right? Um, so they went on and basically talked about the problems. Uh, the problems was the ammonia. Uh, and, and so then they tell us what their fix would be. Uh, and so they leave a couple of their products to use the pond cleanse and a muck remover. Uh, and then aeration. We do have aeration. Uh, so we're set there, but those two products uh, are, are, are in the front of my mind now. Uh, next thing is phosphate. Uh, we need to lower the phosphate. Uh, and so their treatment plan is basically, uh, really they explained where that comes from. Uh, it comes from muck, it comes from fertilizer, it comes from runoff. This was farm ground. It's an old pond bottom, a lot of fertility there. Uh, and so they say use phosphate eliminator or a product called Metaflock. I think they pretty much do the same thing. Uh, and I think I think the Metaflock is a little bit easier to apply, but they pretty much do the same thing. Uh, they're gonna lower that, they're gonna lower that level. 
uh, and then algae. Uh, for years and years and years, I've been just kind of raking it in, but I never get rid of it. Uh, and so their suggestion is basically just kill it off. Just kill it off. It'll be gone. And then we'll add those additives in. Those are all short-term plans. Other thing is if I want to get rid of vegetation along the edges, uh, my water pennywort is something that's really growing and then I get a lot of grasses. I will probably use a scythe to cut those back, rake them in, uh, and I'm probably not going to add a herbicide to get rid of those. Long-term plan is I need to add the correct additives. Uh, the correct additives is a good muck remover. Uh, they do have a muck remover that is, uh, it's like dime shaped pieces. That's just, just full of bacteria that will attack the muck. Uh, they have a pond cleanse item. Uh, once again, it's beneficial bacteria uh, that regulates ammonia, nitrate and nitrite levels. Uh, the long-term plan also is to add that phosphate eliminator uh, to lower that level down. Uh, they say the fish will thrive. Uh, you won't have the algae issues. The water will be clear with that. And since I have so much fertility from all the muck, it's it's the good move. And then dye. Uh, continue to add that dye. Uh, that dye will keep vegetation from growing up. Uh, and that dye really gives the pond a super great color. Um, and they kind of prescribe certain amounts per volume of the pond. So that was pretty much what the, the water test told me. Uh, it seems simple. Uh, it seems really simple to read, uh, but this was beyond me. Uh, and so after I read through this, I read through this sheet probably four or five times. Uh, and then I called Jesse. Uh, and Jesse walked through it with me once again. And he explained uh, the, the phosphate eliminator, versus the Metaflock. Uh, I talked about the algae control kit and really the cocktail that it is. He talked about all these things and really explained. I talked to him for probably 45 minutes. Um, and so this is the plan. Uh, this is the plan. Uh, we're going to stick to this prescribed plan. Uh, and so you're gonna hear me partnering with Natural Waterscapes all summer long. Uh, some of these products they're going to help me out with. Some of these products I'm gonna spend my own money on. Uh, I am not afraid to spend money on my pond. And I imagine that if you want to have a good pond too, you, you gotta to spend some money on it. Uh, especially if it's old farm pond with a lot of fertility, it's gonna be costly to kind of revive. So I'm fine with that. Um, you will find links. Uh, you will find links uh, and you will find coupon codes put in there. Uh, and I'm going to have those in the description. And I appreciate if you use them. Uh, if you if you don't want to use them, I, I hope that you find the right product. I really do. Um, and so, uh, appreciate your time. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking along with me. Like I said, I'm going to try to organize this video in such a way that it will be helpful for you if you don't want to watch the whole thing. I realize that your time is precious. So is mine, right? And so there you go. Uh, this is what a water test will do for you. Uh, it essentially gives you a plan. Uh, and so a good plan, <laughs> a good plan can be helpful. Uh, a bad plan uh, gives you lots of algae. So there you go. My name is Joe. Uh, thanks for spending your time with me. Have a great day. Bye now.